Well, what I'm going to be doing is showing you to make poor man's lobster. I don't have this too much, but I've not seen it on YouTube anywhere recently from any of the fishing channels, so I thought why not do a video on it. So this cod I caught the other day, that uh, £3.91, I'm going to do a catch and cook on it. So yeah, we'll get started now. What we've got here is a pan. What I do, I boil the kettle and I put boiling water in here, just speeds the process up. Half a pan of water would be enough lot though. Well, while that's boiling, I'm going to show you the ingredients we're adding to it now. Well, right here you can see, this is obviously the cod, which is cut into one inch cubes roughly. They're quite chunky cubes. You don't want these cubes too small, but I'll explain more in a second. Let's move this out of the way. Right here, we've got one lemon. This needs to be squeezed into the water, and then you drop the whole lemon in, which I'll show you in a moment. I'll explain what the butter's for after. In here, we have 100 grams of sugar, 5 grams of salt, and a little sprinkle of pepper. I'm going to add this to the pan now, and also the lemon. So what I'm going to do now is drop the sugar in. There's, a, there's 100 grams of sugar, 5 grams of salt, and the pepper. We'll get that dropped in now. Then, get your lemon pieces, two halves here. You can just do half a lemon if you want. Squeeze the juice in, like this, and then drop it in. Same with this piece. I use a whole lemon, but you can use a half if you want to, and drop that piece in too. Now what we're waiting for is this to come back to a rolling boil. So as soon as it hit a rolling boil, I'll bring the camera back. While the water's getting up to a rolling boil, we'll start melting some butter. What I've got here is a block of salted butter. I've got 100 grams here. So we're going to drop that into the pan, let it melt slowly, you don't want to burn this butter, it's really important you do not burn it. So once it starts to melt, turn the heat right down and just get it to melt slowly. We've almost got a rolling boil on that water now, so we can get ready to drop this cod in. As you can see there, we've got a very nice rolling boil. What you want to do is get these chunks of cod and place them in, just don't burn yourself, be very careful. And get them all in there. You want the chunks fairly big, if they're not very big, they're going to break up. So I'd say roughly an inch square. As you can see that's quite a nice chunky piece there. That's it now, you leave them in there. When these start to float, they are cooked. Don't stir the pan, that is really important. If you stir this, you are going to break up the fillets, um, the cube, sorry. So do not stir it. Leave it like this. And once them fillets pop back to the surface and start to float, they're ready to come out. That butter has melted down nicely now. You do get a bit of like a froth on the butter. You can leave that if you want to, or you can get it off and have the butter nice and clear. I'll leave it as it is. With this now, you'll see there's a little bit of a scum appearing around the edge. When you leave this on high heat in the start, it'll rise and it'll start to get ready to bubble over and make a mess. So keep a close eye on it and just turn the heat down before it gets to that stage. You can hear the butter now bubbling a bit. You need to be careful with it because you don't want it to burn. That butter's actually melted fine now, so I'm going to turn the heat off. And just keep it near the heat. And remember, do not stir this. You'd be very tempted to stir it. Don't. If you stir it, you are going to break up the pieces of cod. So just leave it to do its thing like we are here now. When you get to this stage now, you'll see them popping up to the surface and dropping back down. As you can see now, we've got the scum coming on the top look. This is where you need to turn it down, otherwise it'll boil over and it makes a mess. So we've turned it down now to number two. This is on an electric hob. As you'll see, those cod pieces now are rising to the surface, but they're dropping back down. They're not staying on the surface. Once they stay on the surface, they're ready to take out. So we'll keep an eye on it now, because it's getting very close to being finished and we'll get ready to pull these chunks of cod out. Turn it down a little more. You want it to stop boiling, because the boiling can give you a false perception of the cod as it keeps rolling around and won't stay on the surface. So turn it down to number one towards the end, like we have now. And as you can see right here, there's a piece here which is staying quite close to the surface. So they're not far off done now. As you can see this one here, this one's seconds away from being done. moving that lemon it smells amazing this does as you can see here we've got pieces on the surface now which are staying there so we need to start getting ready to take these out just like that one there look that 
is absolutely perfect. Look at that. It's very delicate. I'll show you with this one how delicate it is, look. Watch. Look at that. The way it falls apart. And that's cooked perfectly. Let's get it in this bowl over here. What I'll do is place them all inside this bowl. But don't break your chunks up like I just did to show you there. Get rid of the lemon. Hot. There we go, look at that. Absolutely amazing chunks of fish. Just be super gentle with these. But these are cooked. 100% of them cooked now. I've just got too many in there probably. But there we go, just drain it off a bit. Beautiful chunks of cod. And this way you can eat it just as it is like this or you can have it with anything you like you can add new potatoes or a bit of veg if you wanted to but that's it that's all of it out and I'll show you the next part to it now now what you want to do is I've got a little bit of smoked paprika right there look I add a little bit of this I sprinkle it on my hands I did used to use paprika but I found the smoked paprika, paprika gives it a better taste so we give a little sprinkle of this. You don't want to go too crazy because you don't want to mask the fish taste, if you know what I mean. Well, technically the lobster taste. But yeah, that, that'll probably be enough there, look. I add a tiny bit of parsley. I'm not a big fan of parsley, but it adds a bit of colour to the food. So you have a little bit of parsley added to it. Now, this is where the butter comes in. You want to get the butter and pour it all over. Some people think you shouldn't add too much butter. The more butter, the better. Very soaking it. And there is your poor man's lobster. It's literally that simple. Let's give it a taste now. Well, my favorite way to eat this is straight out of the bowl, just like this. But a little cocktail stick. So what you do, slide it through the flake of the cod. Get it a good soak in that butter. Try and get a nice big chunk here. You, you want it soaked in the butter. So the ones from the bottom are the best. There we go, look. A nice little chunk right there. That is seriously soft. I'll try and show you how this falls apart. It's insane. I'll end up losing it on the floor. But you watch this, the way it flakes apart. It actually tastes like lobster, you know? It's got a little hint of it. Yeah, that's nice. If you've never tried this, you need to give it a go. And that paprika, the smoked paprika as well, right on there, look. Hopefully you can see that. It's, it changes, it's amazing. Yeah, I need more. The, the paprika, smoked paprika is amazing, I mean. Well, that might be a bit too much, we'll see. And the smell of it as well. Give it a mix up. I'm meant to be giving the wife some of this. I mean, you know. There, look. Paprika on there, look. Oops, it's a little soft. More paprika, yeah. Wow. It's quick, pretty simple, and tastes amazing. Well, I'm going to carry on eating this. Look at that. It's amazing. I'm going to carry on eating this. If you can, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.